guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do a quick unboxing of this SwiftTech MC-P655-B. It is the 12 volt computer pump for water liquid cooling. Half inch barb fittings. It is ultra quiet, no maintenance, compact design. Extremely, or extreme performance, excuse me. Five year MTBF, quick and easy installation. So Swift Tech, this pump is rebranded into about 6,000 other pumps. Uh, made in Hungary. Good tech support. Visit their website. Not a whole lot. On the side here, you can see uh, it comes with a bracket. We'll get that open and take a look at it. So in the box, we have your instruction guide. Do read this, guys. It's really important. Um, I would also say, you know, for your first or second time liquid cooling, you know, go up and watch some videos too. Just, you know, it doesn't hurt to, to review because you can ruin pumps pretty easily. Very nice, thick, dense foam with adhesive on both sides. Really nice to see that. That'll really cut down on vibration. Uh, let's see here, what else we got? Get it out of the box. We have our screws, which have some nice thick rubber um, washers as well. Would have ni been nice to see these in uh, black as well as, you know, the nuts are black, but the, the screws aren't, but eh, you know. That's just my me being picky about stuff. And then here's the pump itself. So you have your speed controller. So basically your three pin. You have uh, your power. And this is of course the dash B model. So there's no speed controller on it. Uh, so it is not a variable speed pump. However, this is actually gonna go in a build where I'm not gonna be able to get to uh, the controller anyways so I'm gonna have to hide it somewhere kind of funny you can see the inner workings here so we have your o-ring here on the inside and then the pump itself this is a pre-primed pump so you want to make sure before you power it up that there's water going to it uh, and then on the, the bracket itself, this is the inlet, and that's the outlet. And you can see, you tell that from inside, because it goes straight into the pump on the inlet. And straight in through there, and then gets exhausted out that little port at the top, because basically it's spinning the water. Go ahead and screw that all back together. It does have a nice, very nice secure stand. Um, it is very solid which is, you know, kind of what I would expect from SwiftTech. If you guys need a pump, you're probably buying this or the variable speed version of this, even if it's another company. Uh, anything that pretty much has this kind of uh, threaded adapter on it is usually a SwiftTech pump. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Guys, you'll see this build and the, uh, the water cooling build that I'm going to get to someday. Eventually, I swear. But other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.